How do you there guys and welcome back to Redgear TV where today what we're going to do is going to answer the question if can a pro dart player be a pub player using their left hand. Now I know that these are going to be very varied for example if you played James Wade I'd expect James Wade to be able to beat a lot of pub players using his left hand. So what I did is I hooked up with Zach from Thornton Darts who's sort of a pub standard player and we had a bit of a game to see if I with my left hand could beat him using his right. Now I'm not the best player using my left hand and you know I'm not gonna deny that I mean I've, I've thrown a couple of decent darts the other day when I had a little bit of experiment of could I do it but one of the things that I get is erraticness now the, there are times like you'll see with some of the darts that i actually throw them quite well and i get a couple of 60s or i get a couple of darts that are sort of close or in and around the treble but it's that sort of consistency that lacks now this is something we can kind of expect anyway with a pub standard player that we do lack that inconsistency but i think as I expected, it was more to do with the setup shots, and almost when I wasn't hitting things, it was like there was no like confidence or belief that you could change it. Like these, then five and that one was good darts for me. Now as well, any beginner player there, you may have noticed that my shot before, I had a treble 18, a single 18, I had a good score of about 70 or 80 points. The last shot there was a lot less, but the second shot was a lot better because all these darts are attempting, other than these ones, I was attempting to hit the treble 20 with them. So the 5 and the 1 are better thrown darts. Closer to the target, less reward. So maybe check out my video where I talk about the rule of 3 and I'll put it in the link, uh, the link in the description below. So that might be a good one to check out. See a much closer leg here. I'm actually, despite the fact I'm against the throw, you see, I'm actually ahead here. You know, that's not too bad. 118 again. Surprisingly left it two legs in a row. Could could have left anything. I'm throwing random darts. And I left 118 twice. This time, though, he pings it off the board. No, he, he, he's gone here, and he? Look. Again, gets a little shot there. Looms up the 80. Gives him the vertical line finish. It's not too shabby. But, again... When we talk about um, like a pub player, what we talk about is sort of the inconsistencies. And if you see, it took Zach 2,000 darts to check out last time. It's took him two this time. 96 finish. He's happy with that. You can see. Now, the longer this game went, the more I started to play better. You'll see I'm quite far behind. But I actually started to get more darts on that vertical line, which is the first thing you'll learn as a dart player. You'll start getting that vertical line right. And you see here, I've got the weight wrong. I'm very high. I'm very low. But I'm happy because I'm starting to get more straighter darts. As we'd expect with a pub standard player, a bit of inconsistencies. Um, especially around the doubles, couple of misses here from Zach, which opens the door. You never know. You see here, I'm just thinking, just please, just give me a shot or something. I hit the tops. Again, that was at the treble 20. I've got the line right now. I'm starting to get better at that. Picked out an 18 again, completely off. And again, look, I'm high, I'm off the board. But again, as a beginner player with that left hand, I'm on the vertical line, so I'm happy with that. That is the first thing you'll learn. A lot of missed doubles here from uh, from the Thornton, though. He said he likes the doublies. Doesn't like them today. This is where I'm like, come on, just please go in. I'd love to hit this. Especially filming this. I'm like, come on, let's hit this. See how excited I'm getting. And then, oh, just look at that. Just a little bit too high. And then that, that's the inconsistencies. You're going to get these random flyer darts. And this is what I didn't want because I'm chasing it around. It's hard. We're at that point now where we've we've both had a lot of double. I mean, he's had a lot more than me, to be fair, you know. So I've, I've had to do a lot of editing here. But I've had a couple of shots, you know. And I'm thinking, come on, please go in. Double four. Said so I'm starting to get the line right. But no. That's probably the best effort I got out of it there on the, on the fours. But... Inevitably, if you give a guy enough chances, he's going to hit it eventually. And bang. Celebration as well. 
Now, I said I'm starting to get the line right, and when you start to get the line right, you can sometimes spawn a bit of luck. I mean, that that's off the line there, I know. But look, there we go. We've got we pinged a bullseye. You see how happy I'm like, hoo-hoo, get in there. And then he pings the tops as well, 104. That's, again, like I say, on that line. I'm happy with that. The weight's not right. I'm not going to get the weight right. That comes with practice, and it comes with timing and getting that release point right. But for now, getting that vertical line, that's a bit of a sign of progression already, despite the fact that I'm only about five minutes into my left-hand career at this point. A much closer leg here. I'm actually, despite the fact I'm against the throw, you see, I'm actually ahead here. You know, that's not too bad. 118 again. Surprisingly left it two legs in a row. Could have could left anything. I'm throwing random darts. And I left 118 twice. This time, though, he pings it off the board. No, he, he, he's gone here, and he? Look. Again, gets a little shot there. Looms up the 80. Gives him the vertical line finish. It's not too shabby. But, again... When we talk about um, like a pub player, what we talk about is sort of the inconsistencies. And if you see, it took Zach 2,000 darts to check out last time. It took him two this time. 96 finish. He's happy with that. You can see. So can a pub standard player lose to a left-handed pro? Of course they can. If, they, if the practice goes, you can see already that I started to get that development in that. But me personally, I'd need a lot more practice to be able to take on that standard of player who can pick out a shot like, say, the 96 um, or, you know, a couple of uh, 60s or tons when it's needed and can sort of offset the erraticness of a, a fluky dart that I may have. Remember I did say about that rule of three, I'll put that video in the description to this one. Very worthwhile looking at, especially if you're a beginner player, to give yourself a true reflection of where you are. Also, while I was doing this video, it sort of gave me the idea of, if I used my right hand as a professional player, how many darts it would take a pub standard player to be able to level that up. So, we've done that video as well. I played three darts versus three darts. Then we played three darts versus four darts, etc. How many darts do you think extra that Zach needed to make the game competitive? And how many did it take him to then start winning on a regular basis? That video is coming soon, so make sure you subscribe and get your notification bell on for that. If you're not, hit the subscribe button, because that video is coming soon. A professional player versus a pub standard player. How many darts will it take to level it out? It's a very, very good watch, I must admit. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do hit a like on it, guys. And I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV.